Hey everyone, this is Pastor Solomon with Victory Life Church. I hope you're having a great day today. Hope you're staying safe, staying healthy, and fighting the good fight of faith. I want to share a few things with you today that are on my heart. First of all, we are in the middle of this coronavirus pandemic. This worldwide outbreak has impacted our nation severely and impacted our state, which is the state of Colorado. Many people have lost their jobs, are jobless, millions of people. People have been sick. But the news, the news is stating that this week will be one of the most deadliest weeks with the coronavirus pandemic. That the death toll is gonna to be at its peak, at its highest. But I'm here today to renounce that in Jesus' name. We don't accept that, but we stand on the word of God because our God is greater and our God is in control. This week is the Passover week. And the Passover was instituted when, when God sent Moses to deliver the Israelites from slavery of the Egyptians. And the day Pass Passover was instituted, God was sending a plague upon the land. And it was the angel of death. And God told Moses, go tell my people to, to get a lamb without spot or wrinkle. Get a perfect lamb and sacrifice that lamb. And get the blood of that lamb with hyssop, dip hyssop in it. And apply the blood over the doorposts of your homes. And God told him, when the angel of death comes, whoever has the blood applied over their homes, the angel of death would pass over their home. I want to ask you to get a piece of red scarlet, a red ribbon. It could be anything red, a red scarf. And I want to ask you to tie it around the doorposts of your home. Tie it on your doorknob, on the screen door, wherever it may be. Tie You can't tie it, tape it, tack it up. But I want this to be symbolic uh, of the blood of Jesus, the blood of the lamb. Because God, he sent us a perfect lamb. And that perfect lamb was Jesus Christ. He came to this earth 2,000 years ago and laid his life down for us, for our sins. And that whoever would believe upon him and call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So I want this to not only be symbolic, but to be a reminder that we are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. That Jesus, he laid his life down for us. To, to cover, God said that none of these plagues would come upon you. Amen. The, the word says that by his stripes, we were healed. That he bore our sicknesses and our infirmities. He, he took them upon that cross. And so I want this to be a reminder to you, to your family, to your friends, that you know what? We have a God who covers us. We have a God who protects us. Who keeps these plagues away from us. Maybe you might be watching this. You say you know what I've been infected. I've been impacted. You know what believe God for a miracle. Believe God for a breakthrough. Maybe it's not even this coronavirus. Maybe it's cancer. Maybe it's tumor. Maybe it's dealing with, with hardship. Loss of a, of a loved one. A family member. Friend. Whatever it may be. Trust in Jesus Christ. Believe that he shed his blood for you. And for me. And, and you know what, if you would say, you know what, I'm going to do that. I, I want to partake in this. We would appreciate if you could take a picture for us of the ribbon, the scarlet, the cloth, whatever it may be, and share it to our Facebook page, Victory Life Church. We'd be so excited to see people rally together, believers rally together. You know what, let's do this until this ban is lifted off, until... There are no more coronavirus cases. 
We have a God who's in control. God is faithful. And I want to encourage you today to put your faith and your trust in Jesus Christ. Because he is the way, he's the truth, and he's the life. Thank you for watching this video today. Please like this, comment, and share. You have a blessed day. And I pray for you and your family for the days ahead. In Jesus' name.